Dude, I love yeah. so, this city. All right, bro? I love this city, man. What up, boys? Uh, you got a haircut. You look good. Yeah, I got it like two weeks ago. Got his ears. <laughs> good morning. We've been up since 3 a.m. How, how long have you been up, actually? I didn't sleep. You didn't sleep? Why? I, I was tossing and turning, man. Oh, my God. I was excited. We've all been up for a long time. We are on our way to one of my top three favorite cities in the world, and that's San Diego, California. We're going to have an incredible couple of days of worship there. We're going to be meeting with some new people, seeing some old friends. It's going to be really fun. But I need a clutch though. Taylor, you want some coffee? Quick lover in LA. Going to uh, meet up with the with the boys, Adam and Dustin. They're gonna be meeting us up in San Diego. So we're trying to find some coffee. That'd be really good. Do you drink coffee? I'm not the biggest coffee drinker. I, I drink it socially. I know a lot of peeps uh, are like huge coffee drinkers. I'm, I'm not the biggest coffee drinker. Tea. I grew up vacationing in San Diego when I was a kid. Grew up in Vegas. San Diego was our spot, man, so it's a lot of nostalgia here. Plus, it's like one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Where are you guys? Question mark. Look at that plane. I'm Fina. About to take us to the most lit spot in this city. Peeps don't even know about it. We love this city, don't you? Dude, I love yeah. this city. All right, bro? I love this city, man. What up, boys? Uh, you got a haircut. You look good. Yeah, I got it like two weeks ago. Got his ears. Let me go get our rental car right quick. Uh, <laughs> We just landed here in San Diego. Beautiful San Diego. Look at that, Taylor. Look at that. Look at that. We're here at the Del Coronado. We've got a couple of hours before the meeting, so we're gonna grab some brunch here. I grew up vacationing uh, in San Diego. This way. This way. Grew up vacationing in San Diego, so I know a couple of the spots here. And uh, we're gonna grab some brunch, maybe walk on the beach, and get ready for tonight.
and I are on our way to meet with a gal and her brother who reached out through Instagram, asked for a meeting with us now that we're here in San Diego, and I said yes. Uh, my biggest heart, as you see on social media, my biggest heart is to stay touchable, stay approachable. No matter how large anything scales, I want to, I want to be able to always stop for the one, man. Not, it's not just about the masses, it's about the one. So we're going to go in and meet with them right now, but it all went down because they simply asked. Let's go meet him. What up, bro? How you doing? What up? Ho, ho, ho. Who's first? <laughs> what up? Hey, I'm How Martin. you going, man? Rick, good to see you, man. Nice good to meet you, man. Yeah. Wow, this is incredible. Yeah. yeah. Martin. Martin. Adam. So what's, what's, your, what's your dream? What's your, what's your vision? What's your dream? Where do you see yourself in five years? I recently just been asking God, like, what do you want me to do for you? Like, I'm at this place where, like, I'm willing to give up everything, you know? Like, he's just been that good to me, and it's just like, Come on. I, I can't even, like, imagine wow. life without him, you know? And it's just like, God, all right, like, I'm done plan making my own plans. Like, what are your plans for me? Because I crave and I desire what you've spoken about, like, being mothered and fathered, mm -hmm. you know? Because I haven't really had that in my walk. I've had certain people here and there ask the Lord, Lord, like, there's so much more than just coming to work. There's so much more than graduating from college. There's so much more than just having a family. And, like, because, you know, as women, you can't desire that, you know? Of course. But I'm like, Lord, I, get, I lay that down for you. Like, what do you, what are your plans? And he straight up, like, has given me dreams. I, I saw myself standing before a huge crowd and like the Lord standing right next to me on my right hand and then he there's this girl worshiping on a huge stage and I'm like who's that because I couldn't see who it was and she starts she opens her mouth and you can just feel the power of God flowing through her and the Lord said that's you at the end of the day obedience is up to us but the outcome is up to God you know what I'm saying that's how we're dying. so if he's invited you into something you just be obedient and you leave the rest up to him there's something about leaving like what she's talking about, leaving everything you know, leaving the familiar, and going to the unknown. Yeah. You know, uh, Abraham, the Lord says, Abraham, it's time to go on your journey. And he goes, okay, where are we going? And he goes, I'll tell you when you get there. The point was not the destination, the point was obedience. <laughs>